You ain't nothing but a hound dog sitting on the dock of the bay. I think he was hired by Wolf about 15 years old, something like that. Yeah. And, he, and he's still got his head on his shoulders and his heart in the right place. And that's the whole point. She was probably the heaviest, most original guitar player I've ever heard in my life. And that's the truth. Yet, I'll never forget how he told me, he told me how he met Howlin' Wolf in the first place. He had, he had been sneaking in his club, crawling between people's legs all night long. He kept getting thrown out. Four hours sitting in this club, you know, watching it. How Mr. Kelly. That? that was about 1970, 71, 72, something, seven, yeah. no, 1970, I think it was. Well, he would have been about uh, 50 in his late well, mid-50s, yeah. I suppose. Right, and it was just, I mean, four hours. It is after the show closed. They just stayed up there. No one left the place. Yeah. But he was a big influence in your money. Very right? big, yeah, very big. I think he was the kind of the elder statesman. Which BB is now, I suppose. You know, he's like holding BB's the torch. one who's left, right? Yeah. It's young people to understand is is it's really it, it takes time to understand where where it originated. You know, it took Eric Clapton to teach me who Robert Johnson was. You know, and and so that's the way it's supposed to work. You know, you're supposed to take that generation and go, yeah, well we did this, but look where we got it, and then look where they got it, and that's that's what history is.